Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is um, after last week or the other week's video about my new in handbags and I was chatting about the Chanel um, Gabrielle bag or her line, that not her line, the, the line of Chanel bags named after Gabrielle and a lot of you were interested to hear more about this bag. So again, I'm not going to be doing a review because I haven't had it long enough or used enough to give you a review. But my first impression at the moment is I'm absolutely loving this. It's just so easy to use. I can't, I can't even believe I've never had a backpack before. I just am absolutely loving it. Um, but yeah, I'll do a bit of what's in my bag. Um, I was using this this morning. So now I'm looking in there going, oh no, <laughs> what's in there? <laughs> um, Anyway, before we get into the video, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the link down below. Um, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So let's get started. So I have the Chanel, um, the, it looks a bit like a bucket bag, but it's kind of more of a backpack. And I believe it's laid in the store, so there was only one size, but I swear I've seen a bigger size. I'm not really sure though, um, but this is the smaller size I would say. I don't think there's a smaller one. Maybe there is a smaller one. I'm not great with names and numbers and all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, I'll leave all the links down below so you can check it out. Also, by no means is this uh, what can fit in my bag because um, I could fit a lot more in there. You can kind of see how much of the space I've used. Um, it's more of a just sharing with you what I was carrying today so you can have a bit of a nosy because I love seeing what people carry in their handbags. So let's go. Um, first of all, might as well start with the phone. Um, it has this daily edited case on it, um, which I get a lot of questions about. Um, but yeah, that's from the daily edited with the shadow text and I absolutely love that. Next thing, oh God, I kind of don't know what's in here because I set up so quickly. Um, I'm worried now. Um, I have my wallet, which is this Chanel, very bright pink with light gold hardware um, card holder kind of thing. And it has room to put like cards. I can put coins in there. I can put a bit of everything in there. All right, next. Oh, paper. What's this? <laughs> a receipt. What's this for? Let me like check the receipt. Can I show you read this out loud? Um, it is for a dares. Oh yes, last week I brought all new bedding and sheets and all that. So that's what that is from. Next up is my Glossier U perfume. And oh my gosh, this is, where's it? Oh, I love this. They give you samples when you buy stuff on their website. And I really, really, really wish I had samples left because that's what I would carry in my handbag. Um, oh, this is so good. Um, only annoying thing about this, I find, and it's just for me, is I don't think the scent lasts on me very long, and I really, really like it, so I kind of have to take it with me during the day just to kind of up, like, put a little bit more on my wrists, or I usually forget half the time, to be totally honest, but, um, yeah, so, perfume. So, in we go. Oh, yeah, this is my La Creme Main Chanel Hand Cream, um, I got this a little while ago. My mum got it for me when she was in London because I just love random things like this. I mean, how you don't need a Chanel hand cream, but in saying that, and you still definitely don't need a Chanel hand cream, this is so convenient to carry. And because of the packaging, you can't spill it. You know when you're traveling and you just don't want things, you know things break in your bag? Not break, but like plastic, like toothpaste, tubes, glasses, everything goes wrong on planes because of all the... Um, altitude and whatnot. But this, I never had a problem with it leaking in my bag. Um, it's got so much, you just squeeze it on like that. I don't know why I'm doing it now. I did it already about an hour ago. <laughs> um, but yeah, that smells really good and I couldn't recommend that higher. Oh God. I can see I have at least like two of the products. Oh, I brought, there we go, let's pull out two all at the same time. Um, so first of all is this Shantakai gloss in the color lucky which is so gorgeous i don't know if that is gonna um focus but it's this beautiful pink color and then the other one is this curtis collection lip plump also in a really really pink soft color it's actually this is what i have on now the curtis collection lip plump in seduction so it's a very like pale um I don't know if you can see, but it's just a very pale kind of lip topper, I guess. Hand back in the bag. 
Um, oh, my keys, trusty car keys, house keys, you always need those things. And I just wanted to apologise midway through this video for the lighting situation because oh, I don't know what's happening. It's going sunny, cloudy, sunny, cloudy, sunny, cloudy, and it's just not agreeing with me. But anyway, next in my bag is this Dior um, highlighting palette. I hope that's kind of showing up. It's quite hard though because of the ring light. Um, but oh, it is gorgeous. Isn't that just beautiful? So this is from the new Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. And it has strobe, strobe, which I think the highlighting ones are, which the top gold and white one. And then you've got the pink and bronzer one, which you can use as blushes. No, bronze blush and pink blush. So I really enjoy this. Hi, Alf. He's having a bit of a soot because he wants to go for a walk, which we're going to do after this. So I don't carry a brush in my bag unless I've got my whole like makeup little bag inside my bag because I don't want to get brush marks or makeup on the inside of my handbags. Um, but this is just incredible. You can apply it with your fingers. Um, it just is gorgeous. You literally need the littlest bit. It's quite pricey. I think it was about $78. But I got it along with the foundation. And this is what I'm wearing today. And I'm really, really enjoying that too. Back into the bag. Another lip product. Trust, right? Okay, what one's this? Well, I can tell by the packaging it's a Kristen Louboutin uh, lip gloss. What really bugs me about this, to be honest with you, is... Please comment down below if someone knows the answer to this because I have no idea what the answer to this is. There's no shade on here. This is 130L. I wonder if I look online if I can see what shade that is because I have no idea. Back into the bag for goodie. Shopping July. 20% off um, dog food for Alfie at Pet Barn. Better go and do that before it becomes August. Is that all? No, there's more. Band-Aid, because you never know when you're going to have a blister or a sore foot. Bobby pin and hair tie, again. You never know when you need one. But we need one now, because my hair is in a messy bun. And then, is that all? It's just the Chanel Authenticity card. And let's see if there's anything else. No, nope, that is all. So last is my Glossy A Generation G lip gloss. No, lip balm in Cape. Um, that is also what I'm wearing today underneath the... Curtis Collection lip topper, kind of lip plumper thing. And it's just a really nice natural colour. It is matte and I'm more of a gloss finish kind of girl. So that's why I put the gloss on top. But it's so light and it's so um, easy to apply. That you can literally just apply it during the day and not need a mirror. It's one of those lipsticks which is just so handy. So I hope you enjoyed getting to see what was in my Chanel Gabrielle backpack. Um, I've been really enjoying using this. And um, I hope in the next few months I can give you a more in-depth review. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not in the YouTube family, please hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.